Hello people and welcome to another video of Hearthstone. Um, I was going to do some dailies, however the dailies aren't all that great. I mean, I got a spectate game one, which wouldn't be great to show on video, <laughs> for obvious reasons. And that's really snarky and come on other people's plays and then play worse than them and not really have it matter. Or Druid or Rogue, which I don't really have anything interesting for. I mean, I got a pretty basic Druid deck that's kind of standard and doesn't really work properly because I haven't got any Force of Nature combos. <laughs> which you basically, every druid always uses. Um, maybe I'll give it a go, but I'll just show off my mech priest for a bit, which I'm, I got a game of last time, and then the uh, video corrupted. So just as well, I didn't uh, lose my other warlock game as well. I managed to get that one up. If it was a separate on its own. So we get two games and then get two wins with the uh, the druid deck in order to uh, fill that daily. It's not worth a lot of gold anyway, and it's not going to give you that much close to the Blackrock Mountain. I'm not even sure what the wing two unlocks are. Well, I haven't paid too much attention really to it. Also, the game's going to be super quiet. The light shall bring there really, other than a couple of canned lines, there's not a lot to hear. So as you knew the game would be interesting in some of the creatures. Okay, I probably should have tossed one North si Northshire actually. I mean, shenanigans could let me play both right now. Oh, and Kelfizard. Yeah, I got Kelfizard in this deck. It works kind of well because I got I got a, quite a few creatures that like to buff others, or stuff like the Parted Shredder that has Death Rattles on it. But um, yeah, it's quite difficult usually to keep him alive. At least I'm not fighting another priest or just Shadow Word Death him. Must consider it. I don't think it's worth coining in a second sh North Shire cleric. I think I better hold on to that until the first one dies. I really need some card draw. But I might really need some card draw if I get stuck with Kelfizard in my hand. So I can't play. Shielded mini bot, I'm calling it. Help. You gotta admit, the odds of being a shielded mini bot are uh, quite high. Yep, Noatron. Uh, pretty standard taunt minion. Uh, one of the new mechs. Really tiny body, but for how cheap he is, the fact he's got the vine shield makes him kind of annoying early game field to deal with. So he's definitely worth keeping about. Now, uh, do I coin or can I sell priest? That's my other option. I never north shy. I don't know. I with the I'm starting to get a curve in my hand, so I don't really think another north shy is a great idea. I think I call an arcanike. Lets me. Um, it potentially kill something drops on the board for my heal attack next turn, and if not, I can deal some extra to his face. And I'm likely to need any healing at the moment. It could be nice to heal the other North Shire Cleric. Ah, uh, okay. Consecrate on this board? No, he doesn't got enough mana for us. But I feel like the extra damage at the moment is going to be um, slightly more useful. Considering that, yeah, now my North Shire Cleric's healing ability is completely worthless anyway because he can't take any damage. Possibly I should try and kill that 1-1, one, one. he might have a trick up his sleeve, like Quartermaster. But I feel like it's safe enough with my Divine Shielded, yeah, to leave him around. Okay, now he's buying the Consecration. Right, well I've got another mech on the board to buff, to buff with the Repair Bot, so I think I just Northshire, heal, get myself a bit of card draw. I did, knew before I had Holy Novas in this deck. I'm so unsure, I so needed one last test game I did with this. I played this game on and off, it's like the first deck of Priest I've actually tried to play really, other than for dailies. Bloody cog hammer. Now I could actually just Shadow Word Death that to get rid of it, and that might be... Again, I'm not going to into... This is the problem with the upgrade repair bot, I hate playing onto the board, but I haven't got any other mechs. And there's loads of mechs in this deck, I just haven't drawn any. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Shadow Word Death that. Uh, Shadow Word Pain, even. It's a pretty big threat. And unfortunately, I don't get healing from. I uh, don't get draw from Northshire if I heal my face. Only if I um, heal a minion. Including any minion, that's important to, to keep in mind, something I always forget about. As I think a lot of priest players do, it's a common move to see them mess up. Alright, Avenging Wrath is going to clear my board. Of course it is. Damn it, fire the death rattle first and save her. 
Alright, here we go. Mech Warfare. Not the greatest thing to play this on, but it's something. And besides, I want to have next turn to play Kelpie's Art anyway. Oh, never mind. I'm not sure I want to play Kelpie's Art anymore. <laughs> How do I go about this one? They're on the 5-5 five, five in, he definitely gets the 2-7. I've got nothing to deal with that 2-7 in hand. But he's not that damaging. I feel like that's gotta be the way of it. Yeah. I think this works, Kelfizard, even if the minion dies before I play Kelfizard. Which is interesting. I wish I had some way of killing this guy off. <laughs> this is how Shadow Web Pain had. They've been awesome, like, combo hand to play, but I'm just going to do this. He gets to 2 7, which I don't, haven't seen him play a single mech yet, so I don't think it's going to be too beneficial to him. I'm going to play Kelfizard to get the 5 5 back. Because then I still got two alright minions on my side of the board. And some very tempting targets for me, also some very nasty combos. Oh, lay on hands. Some paladin draw. Drawing your hands, uh, drawing cards in uh, this game is incredibly important. And apparently, you did have mechs. Clearly, the whole plan was to steal a mech warper from me all this time and then secretly play his mech strategy. Right, that clears boards. So I'm going to do that. Go like that. Smack that in. And then I heal myself back up. Oh, sweet. Uh, oh, no, I haven't quite got enough. I always had enough to <laughs> mech warp a mech yeti on top of that. See, now I'm getting some mechs out. Last time I tried this deck, I just got no mechs whatsoever on video. Which, um, yeah. No, my deck kind of terrible, because that basically... Oh, no. Oh, there goes Kelfizard. Yep. Uh, the real problem with this deck is that it's a lot of the um, a lot of the strong minions out of my deck. I've not got a lot else to throw at him. I mean, I can, I've got a, uh, a Velen's... Is it Velen's Chosen? i got a buff anyway. I can throw on a minion to make it quite powerful. And other than that, like the strongest things I think I have left are mech repair bots. I've got various ways to increase health, but okay. He's just going to kill off the A. He's got heal for two because he had max health, so he's uh, gonna take four damage on that. Well, four health is the annoyance for priests because you can't hit them with either of your best removal spells. The damn stand ready. He probably gets killed by that. I can probably afford taking the damage to the face, so I think I'm gonna stealth him just because I'd rather kill him off. Um, when I got another minion on the board, so he can do a little death ref rattle buff on him. He's out of consecrations at least, so my board is safe from consecration combos. Oh, is he playing a quartermaster now? Oh, he's so playing a quartermaster. Damn it, I once played that combo in arena. <laughs> I think I'm dead at this point. Kelfizard. Something a bit better than that, please. Yeah, I'm Justice pretty sure I'm dead. Demands retribution. Uh, yeah, that's just 15. So I'm dead just from those. And kill off three, kill off another three, and kill off six. I can possibly keep myself alive for one turn, I think. That's not going to do me any good, of course, because I haven't got any, any way of removing all this from the board. You wish? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Okay, he didn't run all into my face anyway. Reckless Rocketeer. No, not quite. This is a super annoying Paladin mill, though. <laughs> hey, Shadow Madness. That's gonna be useful, right? Okay. 
Let me just give in. You have Don your meta paladins. Your quartermaster combos. The quartermaster combo is a pretty cool thing, though, to be honest. I do want to put it in my deck, but I need a quartermaster to do that. I think he's a goblins versus gnomes card. Because I think the combo only showed up recently-ish. So I need to have more packs to get the one of those. Anyway. Um, I guess I'll cut it off now and then I'll stick the second match in the same video. Alright. This is still in the same video, I just have to cut off in between now just so to make sure um, things don't corrupt and I lose another match. And possibly two if that happened. Come on. They broke half stone like a couple days ago. It was so annoying. In fact, they broke it twice on me. Basically, yeah, it was impossible to find a match. I think the second time it was impossible for you to even log on. Anduin versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. The light shall bring victory. Alright, uh I don't really want that in my starting hand, nor Holy Nova. I don't want any of this stuff in my starting hand, to be honest, but I'm gonna have to leave something in there. I'm gonna get some interesting Shadow Madness plays. Okay, Shadow Boxer. That won't kill Shadow Boxer, so I guess he has a reason for being. I don't have enough mana. Oops. I want to stick two Shadow Boxers in the deck, but. I'm not sure what I'd trade it out for. I mean, I could trade it out for a Harvest Golem, but despite his ability being kind of cool at times, um, yeah, this doesn't really replace the stat line of a Harvest Golem. Okay, let's see. If I heal, if I give him, okay. I say it's a very risky strategy, but I think this should be all right. Oh wait, it doesn't work if I do that that way. Oh, I'll go an idiot. Let's say I send him into there, heal him, punch the Wargan. <laughs> They've been awesome, but I'm going to do that. And I can't heal him now, of course, because I've like did that on him instead. But that would have been even, it would have been completely safe to do it that way around. Uh, because I would still be full up anyway, so the Wargan couldn't kill me. Now he just Wargans me, and probably Mortal Coils. And I wasted a. Um, was that card? At least it got me another card in its place, which is, um, didn't used to do that. They, they, um, sort of buffed that card a while back to do that. I'm glad for it because the card was kind of worth it otherwise. Ah, sweet. <laughs> when that thing finishes popping around turn five, I can hurry over it. Although now there's too much stuff on the board to reliably be able to combo him. So I'm just going to play Dark Cultist instead. And punch face. It would be nice to finish off the walking infiltrate with him, but I think it's wise to just build up the board a bit. I mean, I could always imp master next turn using the cultist. I Means he might be better off sending the imp. I don't know. Okay, there goes the wargan. So the charge up for the punch wasn't needed anyway. I guess I would have saved my minion being lost, but I, I couldn't I can handle this again. Hmm. Well, that is really tempting, but it's not quite... I'm tempted to steal the Sengen with the Shadow Madness and send it into the Ant Master to finish it off. But I don't know if that's really a fantastic combo. It might be wiser to still the Imp Master send it into the Sengen. I mean, I guess, really speaking, there's not much of a difference to either way I do it. And also, then, like, in the set of Dark Cultist in. I mean, either way I did this, this the, uh, he's still going to be around on the board, and he's going to just trade an Imp into me, so I don't really like that line of play, actually. I don't really like f throwing him in there just on his own, anyway. Okay. I think I'm going to do that, and then I am going to risk doing this um, with the Dark Cultist. 
simply because I've got potential Holy Nova next turn, and if I'm not going to do Holy Nova, then at least if he dies, he's got the Mechanery Cool Yeti to buff. And either way, even I just had saved him for the turn, I still have to trade both in next turn or bow or one in a Holy Nova to finish him. Okay, he's going to trade into the Mechanical Yeti instead. Right, well, I think now I definitely Shadow Madness. Roger, I can't heal afterwards, so... Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll, sh I'll um, Power Word Shield instead then. Because I can't heal him. Oh, I almost hit the end of face there. Whoops. And I thought I took the Resurrect out of my deck yesterday. I mean, I suppose it could be nice to get a second Kelpie Zard, but, I mean, it was not really that likely to happen. There's no doubt something for me so I can throw into my deck. I just kind of want to put it in there because I wanted some Black Rock cards. I'm thinking, what would I actually get them if I resurrected? I'd also get Mechanical Yeti. What else have I lost this game? Only good stuff, really. I mean, Resurrect would at least give me a minion worth two. And a mech. If I resurrect for two, what am I left with options wise? Punch Heal or possibly Fort Steel? Let's see what I get. Or oh, Heal Punch, you would have to be. I want to keep him alive. Ah, oh, nice, the mechanical yay. Yeah, I think I definitely heal this guy up. I don't lose him just yet. I did waste a buff on him after all. Oh, in fact, you know what? I will lose him now because he can buff the yay. There we go. Nice little reversing switch. Occasionally, those spare parts come in handy, though most of the time I get the ones that don't actually do anything. It's a really weird Warlock deck as well. He's not playing any of the three typical Warlock decks. And he's not getting his health anywhere low enough to be playing like a Zoo giant -y deck. Uh, upgrade Repair Bot, make him even tougher. Seems like an alright idea until you consider the fact that I'm putting way too much money into one card if I do that. I can just do that. He's got enough health to survive. If he doesn't, I can still, um, I can put the upgrade repair bot on the shredder. And there's Fort still. Let's see if we can work out what his deck is. Okay, he's got zoo-related cards. At least he's got a knife juggler anyway. He just hasn't played him yet. And looking at this, I'm, I just realized I don't actually know if I own knife juggler. Cause it seems like everyone in the game does. And also, the awesomeness of uh, golden fort still means uh, <laughs> the cards I steal also get golden variants of them. So and see all the animations. It's the only way I'm likely to see them. Three, four, and more. Well, yeah, more coil. Right. Oh, oh. armor playing is pretty worthless. Oh, and there's his knife juggler. Right, I'm gonna give my juggler a go. I was going to say I could not juggle it. I think more tempted to play Holy Nova actually. Annoying, it doesn't actually really heal much, so I guess it heals my face. So I. Five. I can still juggler, I guess. Seven. And I got armor playing. Okay. So I'll just throw down as a little waste drop because I haven't got anything else to do with it. Yeah, juggler is now slightly harder to take out. I didn't really throw minions onto the board, so juggler doesn't have to be that useful, but. It's free damage to the face, and his ability is nice. If you've got a deck built around it, at least. I mean, quite a lot of my minions are lowish cost, so... I should be able to combo with him. I think I might take my turns a bit slowly here. Especially when I didn't really pull anything that impressive out of them. Oh, he hell fires and feels like ward. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Nice. I'm glad to see that. 
Seeing as I can uh, go repair by him. I attempted a Hellfire actually, upgrade repair but Hellfire. It is my board kind of weak. But I got totally nobody to heal them up the next turn. Give it a go. Use these cards you stole from him. I might have been better off playing the Annoyatron, but I wanted to see what happened if I did that. Ah oh, nice, he's forcing him to tap for answers. Okay, he's, he's playing a really weird deck if he's including novice engineers. I guess it's a way to get draw, which you don't really need much extra draw in a warlock deck, especially putting in some of the worst cards in the game that do draw. I don't actually have a way to kill him, unfortunately. Well, I can wipe out his entire board with Holy Nova, actually, which would probably just cause him to concede. <laughs> so let's do that. Oh, wow, I just realized. Because I do healing, <laughs> I actually have killed him. Sweet. Way to go, Shadow Boxer. You see, Shadow Box is a great card. In the right circumstance. <laughs> I just wish I had detected that combo beforehand. I could have looked like I deliberately pulled it off. Okay, it's two games of Mech Priest. I'm going to show you a pretty standard Druid run of the, the mill stuff. Well, a budget Druid that's missing all the good combo cards anyway. <laughs> um, just after this. <laughs> 